Good Sunday morning. Recording this video at 818 this morning. I do want to show you what the radar has looked like over the past 12 hours when multiple clusters of thunderstorms have been in progress. The first one was crossing Lake Michigan very early this morning and then weakened as it did so. So we only saw some light rain showers out of it and some thunderstorms down into Indiana and Ohio weakened. So there's that cluster one more time weakening. A second one forming behind it is now approaching Lake Michigan at this time with some additional thunderstorms and we're going to be watching this morning how this cluster crosses the lake and what becomes of it as we work later through our Sunday here. There's a third cluster of thunderstorms out in South Dakota. That one was severe very early this morning, producing wind gusts of 60 to 80 miles per hour. You can see now though that it has weakened considerably, but we're in this pattern here that favors these thunderstorm clusters to work from the west northwest towards the east southeast here and so multiple thunderstorm clusters will continue to be possible over the next couple of days. So here's our forecast for today. Highs in the mid to perhaps upper 80s, mostly cloudy skies this morning, giving way to partly sunny skies during the afternoon. A few storms will be a possibility and then for tomorrow we'll have partly sunny skies for much of the day with highs in the upper 80s to near 90. Favoring storms here to mainly be focused during the evening into the nighttime and some of those storms storms could be severe as well. Notice here on the map where we have all of the heat advisories in place in orange and it's right along the northern edge of this where the thunderstorm clusters like to develop and form. There's even a severe thunderstorm watch this morning out here in that pink shaded area, northwestern Iowa, southwestern Minnesota and parts of southeastern South Dakota there as well. So we're going to be watching what these thunderstorm clusters do over the next couple of days with the hot weather they're out in the central and western U.S. Right here is where those thunderstorm clusters like to ride right along the jet stream. So the next potential strong to severe thunderstorm cluster to watch for is going to be this evening into tonight, likely forming somewhere in this vicinity here and then moving east to southeast. There's actually some lower confidence on this, whether this will impact our southern counties or completely stay off to our south. So we'll watch that one carefully later today into tonight. And then as we go late tomorrow into to tomorrow night. There will be another opportunity at perhaps a better organized cluster of some thunderstorms. This one will be associated with the cold front that ultimately knocks out our humidity for the second half of the week. But again, late tomorrow into tomorrow night, a marginal to slight risk for severe weather. The main severe weather hazard with any of these clusters that develop will be damaging winds. On top of the thunderstorm opportunities, it's very warm and humid outside. This afternoon, we'll be looking at heat index values reaching the upper upper 80s to lower 90s and then Monday looks to be the hottest day of the next week as we'll see it feeling like the, mo the low to mid 90s during the afternoon time frame. The extended outlook shows mid 80s this afternoon, very humid, more humidity tomorrow as well with upper 80s. Chances here for those scattered showers and storms. Again, the best chance looks to be this evening into tonight and then again late tomorrow into tomorrow night. A few lingering showers and storms are possible Tuesday, although we should see some decreasing some decreasing clouds as the the afternoon wears on still mid 80s there near 80 on Wednesday with a few lingering showers and perhaps even a rumble of thunder still there too. A few clouds form on Thursday afternoon after a sunny start, but there's no more humidity. Highs will be in the mid 70s. The humidity stays away Friday and Saturday as well, so a very comfortable setting upper 70s to low 80s with sunshine.